Hi, I'm Paul Caps. We're at the Band House Music Store today in Texarkana, Texas. One of the things I wanted you to see is my pug mask. I like that. We're going to take a look at a Relay G10 wireless guitar freedom set. It's a transmitter and a receiver and it has a charger built into it. It's built by Line 6. I use one. I've had one. Uh, uh, I've had the Relay to Go. You can get this in two versions. The Relay to Go, if you have a Line 6 V60, a Line 6 120, or the Line 6, I believe it's a two, 240, the, the 30, doesn't doesn't handle the the relay system on it but the 60 and the 120 if you just have this part little relay itself you can plug that into the amplifier you don't need the rest of this even though I own two of the line 6 amplifiers the receiver is extremely handy to have in the sense that you can plug it directly into your PA play through the PA you can use it to go into an interface uh, into your computer system and you can play it through all the, the amplifiers that you'd want to play into different brands and different things. So I actually plan on uh, purchasing one with the, the receiver even though I already own the one with the transmitter and we'll get back in just a second here at SUP show and show you how these work. This is the Relay G10 if you have a Line 6 V60 or V120, you just take the, the unit, turn your amplifier on, and I'm going to step over here, and we plug it in, and now it's charging. While it's charging in the Line 6 amplifier, you can see this little flash on it's flashing green and it'll glow green when it's completely charged. We're going to go over here. Now, I don't know if it'll pick it up all that well, but I'm going to try to get as close to it as I can. On the little indicator, it says right now it says user 2. And then up in the top left hand corner of that indicator is the charge, tells you how much charge that's on the transmitter. And it really doesn't take that long, or I haven't had a problem with them as far as usage when I use them on stage if we take a break I plug it back into the amplifier to let it charge and it's always got me through a three or four hour set without any problems probably would run that long if it's fully charged for the whole time but when I take breaks I plug it back in and let it charge all the way to the top and I've been using that system now for about uh, three years and have had no problems with it at all it's just as bulletproof as anything that I ever used the only thing that uh, this is not good for if you have an active electronic like an acoustic guitar that has a preamp in it it will not work with an active electronic uh, preamp driven guitar it's for a passive system the guitar that I'll be using today on the Relay G10 to show you how it works is my Yamaha it's a RS320. Let you take a look at this. is actually a two, 2015 model. The only modification I've made to this guitar is I have changed the keys out because I knocked it off and bent one of the keys on the original Yamaha keys and I did replace it with hip shot post lock tuners. And that's what that guitar looks like. This is the Relay G10 transmitter. And we'll take it and we just plug it into the guitar. And 
And now we're live. I've got, I'm running through the Line 6 Spider V60. And I've got it set on uh, one of my user programs. It has four programs that are available in it just to set it up the way that you want them set up. It's pretty easy to do. I've got it set up with just a little distortion in it. I'm going to walk down the stairs, out into the showroom, and see if I still have signal up. Of course, it's going through a wall or going through a big glass window in a wall, and we're downstairs, it's going to go through a floor. But I'm just going to walk down and see what it does. Never done this before, this is a new one. I've used this wireless system on stage. Uh, walk in from the stage, through the crowd, about 60, 75 feet through the crowd, come back up on stage with it, had no problems at all with the transmitter. If you try to transmit through a wall with it, that's a, a little bit of a different story because I've walked backstage with it uh, behind where there's, there's actually a wall up. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't penetrate the walls very well at all. But if you've got line of sight to your receiver, and in this case the receiver is the amplifier itself because that's built in. If you're using a, a PA system or plug it in another, another amplifier, you can move this receiver to where you think the line of sight will be the best with it. You can set it up on something uh, or move it out. But as long as you've got line of sight and you can actually see this transmitter, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. I've used it uh, on two of uh, the concerts that uh, we do every year for Randy Sams, which is a, a homeless shelter in our area. Haven't done this one this year because of the COVID. Still trying to figure out something to do for them. But it's a beautiful system. It's a beautiful system. Uh, like I said, I bought it. I bought it three years ago, and I've been using it ever since. It does help if you turn the volume control of the guitar on. Texas. Y'all have a nice week.